Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions Stuff for No Stylus, and today we're looking at an application called Drafts. When I first got this app, I thought it was silly. And I thought it was silly because, well, if you want to put some text in there, you're going to go to the application that you want to use for creating that text and doing things with it and whatever else. And why would you want an application which is going to stand in between that and whatever you really wanted to do? Well, I think differently about it now. I think this is a new way of thinking, and I really quite like it. And why it's so good is that you can often want to put a piece of text into a number of different places and with this here you've got hooks which will take you off into those different places and you can easily sort of get better use out of the text as you create essentially end up being more effective and efficient so on this particular occasion i've done something here which is going to be good for sending off to a tweet it's less than 140 characters and i can click on that there and it gets sent off and i don't have to do anything else and then what I can do is I can come back into this again and put some more stuff into this. So, so now I'm adding some more text so that I can send it off to something else like app.net or to Facebook. So there, as you can see, I've got some more information in there. I can go back to this share again and now I can post it to Facebook. If I want to, I can send it off to my journaling application. So there we go into day one. So there are times when it is good it goes off into the other application rather than just being sent off direct. And that's because it gives you extra things that you can do with it once it gets into other applications like adding pictures or tags or whatever else. There might be a case where you might want to send it off to something not supported by Draft. So for instance in this case here I could send this off to Foursquare. Now if you could do me a favour I really would appreciate it. Click on the share button and share this video out to your friends. You can send it out to Google, Twitter or Facebook. The Facebook dialog window will pop up and you can say something about it if you want to. There are other places that you can send it out to as well, including Pinterest. And don't forget to click on the like button. Thanks a lot. Now this is where Drafts has recently got a whole lot better. The fact that we also now have the possibility of putting in Markdown. You know I like writing in Markdown, don't you? And I want to change that into a H2 header. I've got to tap on that twice, put a space in there, and it's done. So, for instance, I want to have that in bold. So what I can do is I can tap on that there, go to that there, put a star at the beginning of it. In fact, I need two stars at the beginning of that there, and where it's finished in the bold, put two stars there, and that's going to be bold text. And put a star there, and a star there, and that's going to be in italics. Also, while I'm working on this here, if I want to do something with some of the URLs I have in there. I can click on that there. Now this here becomes a clickable link. And that takes me off into the Safari application. Now you can also change the type of text that you're looking at here. I'm using Avenir Next on there at the moment. Uh, quite often I use this one here, Georgia. Get really exciting if you want to and go for Markerfelt. Nearly as bad as Comic Sans. So now I can go back into this here and I can do something with the markdown. So on this one here, for instance, I might want to do Markdown Copy to Clipboard. So let's do that now. I've copied that to Clipboard. Now it's not actually copying the Markdown to Clipboard. What it's doing is copying the HTML to Clipboard. So if I do a paste in this here now, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So there you go now. That's actual Markdown that's been converted into HTML. So that's nice, isn't it? Also, what you can do is you can just get a Markdown preview. So that's showing the preview for the Markdown. It's also showing the preview from the HTML as well. If you've got another application that you like using for your text, this is in ByWord now. And the same ByWord, you've got your previews in Markdown there as well. So, so you see I've got the bold and the tax text in there as well. So let's dismiss on that there. Come out of that and go back into Drafts again. And this is a new thing as well, where you've got these four different sections where you can put different things. This one I've got set up, so I've got my Markdown in there. So I've got Markdown to Evernote, Markdown Preview and all that sort of stuff. And I've also got these ones here where I send it to Byword, Nebulous Notes or Simple Notes. In the next one there, I've got a couple of spurious ones where I can send off to Scriptogram or one I've made up myself where it goes off to Wizard Gold. And then in the next one, this one all to do with reminders. So this one at the beginning here, the number one, that's just a general one. And I've got some searches down at the bottom as well. So there's a number of different things that you can do with this to add to it as well. So we can go to manage actions. So let's go to this here. And let's say I want to take this one. And say, for instance, I just want to put that over into pane 2. So now that's in pane 2. Not actually where I want. Let's put it back in pane 1 again. Tweetbot. That is worth having in there, even though I can tweet directly out into the Twitter sphere with my Twitter accounts. 
because if I put it into Tweetbot, it means I can add pictures to it in there or can add tags or various other things. So it is worth keeping that Tweetbot in there. Okay, so another thing that you can do with this as well is to arrange. So in this particular case, maybe I want to have my Twitters all together so I can get these, drag them and drop them where I want them. So that's quite handy. So for some strange reason, it says App Store on these three things here, even though I've actually got all of those installed on the iPad. So what I'll do is we'll go into these email actions and to these message actions. So that's a later stage. We can see how much further we can customize Drafts app. This is a marvelous application, well worth having, and I'd even like to see this as an application or a version of it for the Mac as well. Although to a certain extent I do have that in as much as I can do tweets, I can do posts to Facebook and do all my text in there. And with a bit of uh, keyboard magic or keyboard maestro magic, I can have bits of text sent off to other applications. Although it's not quite as seamless as you get with the Drafts app on the iPad. This is Dave Allen. Talking to you about drafts. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video, and why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.